me here I have the Sagem FreeSat HD um, satellite receiver. So the actual model number on this, this is a DS186 uh, HD box. Okay, so um, you can see the presentation box that it comes in here. Uh, and the key feature about this particular range in FreeSat in general is uh, it has two main features that ordinary generic satellite receivers don't have. The first thing it is, it has a standard uh, satellite uh, listing setup, which means that it's been controlled centrally. So if there's a frequency change or an extra channel becomes available over the air, it'll change the software in your box and you won't have to retune channels manually, which can be a real pain. And the second thing is that you can tap into an 8 day EPG. So like you can do in a skybox, you can flick forward, see what the next program is, and indeed tomorrow and all the way eight days into the future. Now in terms of um, this particular model here, let's just look at what comes with the box. We have the following, which is uh, user manuals, etc. Here we have uh, a set of treble A batteries and a remote control, uh, a HDMI lead and a power unit here. Okay, so just going to move this out of the way for a moment and we'll just focus in on the main feature which is the box itself. You see there it's black and it has a very streamlined design. We have a USB port here which can be used for firmware upgrades etc. And we have just a channel up and down button and a power on and off button there as well. And if we were to take the box around and just look at the back of the box, we'll see we have a single satellite feed input here. We have an Ethernet port and on the output side we have a HDMI and we have SCART here as well. And we have um, just audio outs here as well, finally, and then the power input on it. Now some interesting things to note about the FreeSat ranges. There's really three classifications in it. So you have the most stand, basic one, which is standard definition box. We have this particular box, which is a step up from here. It can handle the high definition channels. And, um, but it doesn't have key features, let's say, which the top box in the range, the FreeSat Plus one would have, in terms of it's not uh, PVR ready. You can't record on it, and you can't add an external hard drive for recording. But if we look at the FreeSat Plus one, there's a built-in hard drive, two satellite feeds. So you can look at one thing, cord another, set series link, etc on the top range model, I must stress here, not in this particular one. So the FreeSat in itself is a great um, range of boxes, I, I find, simply because they're so user friendly and they have a, a, a graduation of boxes to suit different needs and also different price entry levels. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Sega FreeSat uh, HD receiver.